Friends, welcome to second view chemistry syllabus introduction classes. So I know chemistry in both first view and the second view included three parts: either the physical chemistry, inorganic chemistry, and organic chemistry. Now let me know about what are the chapters included in the second view chemistry classes. And first thing in the physical chemistry. It contains five chapters, namely solid state, solution, electrochemistry, chemical kinetics, surface chemistry. Totally consists forty-one hours. Forty-one hours. In first solid state, it consists eight hours. The allotted marks is seven. How in this chapter marks is break up. So one mark question cannot appear. That means you can't expect the one mark question from the solid state. You can expect two mark one question from the solid state and one five mark question in the solid state. And then we are moving to the solutions. Solution chapter consists nine hour, and allotted maximum marks is eight. In this chapter, you can expect one more questions. Two, that means first and second question appear from the solution chapter. There is no appearance of two marks and three marks question, but you can get one five mark question. So, but here the uh, eight marks is allotted. But here it maximum shows seven mark. Some cases the marks will be variable. Okay, it depends on. So question paper set. And then we are going to the electrochemistry. It totally consists nine hours. And allotted marks is eight marks. So you can expect one one mark question and one two mark question from this. There is no three mark question and one five mark question. Other than we are moving to chemical kinetics. We considered hours is nine hours and allotted mark is eight. In this one also, as same as electro, you can expect one one mark question, one two mark question, and one five mark question. And finally. In the physical chemistry, last chapter that is the surface chemistry. So we consider our is six hours and allotted marks is five, and you can expect one one mark question and one five mark question. So totally from the physical chemistry, you can expect thirty six marks. In second day, in organic chemistry, it contains. Total four chapters. That is isolation of elements, nothing but metallurgy, p block elements, d and f block elements, and coordination compounds. So in the isolation of elements, you can expect four marks, and it totally consists five hours. The mark distribution is you can expect one one mark question and one three mark question. Okay, and then we are moving to the p block elements. It is the continuation of first view p block. In the first view, we learned up to 14 group, but in the second view, you are moving from 15 to 18. Total considered hours is 11, and allotted marks is 10. That means how it will break up. Means you can expect from this one one more question and three. Three, three mass questions. Okay, and then we are going to the D and F block elements. It is also a continuation of the other table, D and F block elements. Total allotted marks is eight, and considered our case nine. The marks distribution. That is, you can expect one, two mass question, and two, three mass questions. Two. Three mark questions, and then finally you are going to the 
coordination compounds consider hours 7 and allotted marks is a 6 from this you can only expect 2 3 marks questions so total inorganic you can expect only 1 and 2 marks questions and then all the 3 marks questions appear from inorganic there is no 5 marks questions allotted for the inorganic so that is the discussion of the inorganic chapters and then finally organic chemistry so it included halogens, halogens, alcohols, phenols and ethers carbonyl compounds nothing but oleates, ketones and carboxylic acids amines, biomolecules, polymers and finally chemistry in everyday life okay so now we can know about the chapters halogens and halogens consists seven hours and allotted marks is six you can expect one one more question and one five more question and then in alcohols phenols and ethers considered hours is eight and allotted marks is seven in this one you can expect one two mark question and one five mark question okay so other than carbonyl compounds total allotted hours is nine and allotted marks is eight so in this one you can expect one one mark question one two mark question and one five mark question so in organic so it's an, uh, very important because it related almost all chapters in this organic okay and then we are going to the amines considered our six and allotted marks is five in this one we can expect only one five marks question and then we are going to the biomolecules it is related to your first few bio biology okay so considered ours is seven and allotted marks is six so here we can expect one one mark question and one five mark question okay and then polymers consider ours five and allotted marks also five and you can expect only one five mark question and finally chemistry never the life considered ours five and allotted marks is four in this one can only expect two two marks questions okay so that is in a uh, part two we can uh, expect final questions from chemistry every day so totally organic includes 47 hours and the mass reduction is 41 hours if you are considered both physical inorganic and organic chemistry total considered hours is 120 and uh, then uh, all our time marks is 105 okay that means for 120 hours that will allow 105 marks hard to write for the 70 that means one and a half times that is the uh, almost 35 marks extra that will you are can say chapters so it's all about the your uh, second view chemistry symbols introduction okay Thank you. Subscribe to my channel.